In football, a playmaker is a player who controls the flow of the team's play and is often involved in both offensive and defensive play. He makes passing moves that lead to goals through excellent vision, tactical intelligence, technique, ball control, creativity, and passing ability. Opening up an opposition defense is not always easy. It takes a special type of player to do so, as it is about more than just pace or dribbling abilities. It's about having the intelligence to see the openings that others can't, and also having the flawless passing technique to exploit those tiny gaps available. In ranking the best playmakers in the world, while the number of assists provided has carried increasing importance in the modern game, playmakers still get judged based on their ability to dictate the tempo of a game and find those passes that most couldn't. These are best playmakers in football for 2024, who created chances and most goal-scoring opportunities. Kevin De Bruyne, Manchester City. Not putting Kevin De Bruyne top of this list feels like a crime, given his numbers are typically great. Kevin De Bruyne has been regarded by many as the best playmaker in the world over the last decade. The Manchester City midfielder is the ultimate playmaker. He can open up stubborn defenses with incisive passes and can equally shoot the ball accurately from a distance. His exceptional vision, passing ability, and creativity make him a true maestro on the pitch. What sets De Bruyne apart is his ability to dictate the tempo of a match. He possesses a rare combination of technical brilliance and tactical intelligence, enabling him to control the flow of the game from midfield. His decision-making is impeccable, as he always seems to make the right pass at the right time, even in the most challenging situations. De Bruyne's passing range is exceptional, as he effortlessly switches play, finds gaps in defenses, and delivers inch-perfect assists. Martin Odegaard, Arsenal Martin Odegaard, hailed as a modern playmaker, embodies the qualities of a prodigious talent. Arsenal's vastly improved performances have been largely facilitated by the generous contributions of their young captain, Martin Odegaard. The Norwegian midfielder is a highly skilled and creative playmaker who possesses exceptional technical ability and vision on the pitch. His precise bending deliveries from dead balls and set pieces also prove his playmaking prowess. Sodegaard possesses a remarkable ability to find spaces on the pitch. Mikel Arteta has praised his stamina, talent, and incredible work rate, highlighting his energy and effectiveness in pressing opponents to win back possession. He has a keen eye for the right pass and can thread the ball through even the most stubborn of defenses. Odegaard's ability to dictate the tempo of the game and unlock opposition defenses with his passing and dribbling skills makes him one of the most exciting young talents in football today. Bruno Fernandes, Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes is undoubtedly one of the best playmakers in the world in 2023. He has been in incredible form since joining Manchester United in January 2020 and has quickly become one of the most influential players in the Premier League. Bruno Fernandes is a direct and energetic box-to-box -box playmaker. The dude can take on defenders and set the rhythm of play, displaying a dynamic style on the pitch. He is an excellent passer, dribbler, and finisher, and he is also very good at creating chances for his teammates. He has a knack for finding space in the final third, and he is always looking to create opportunities for his teammates. Fernandez is a world-class playmaker who is capable of changing the game with a single moment of brilliance. Pedri, Barcelona Pedri inheriting Andres Iniesta's number 8 shirt was extremely apt, wasn't it? The Barcelona star is the centerpiece of Xavi's new star-studded side, offering technical security and forward-thinking passes that could fool you into thinking he was the reincarnation of Barca's iconic midfielder. Pedri's position as a free midfielder allows him to roam the pitch and show off his versatility. While he primarily occupies central areas and operates between the lines, he is equally moving out wide and running towards the touchline to create opportunities for his teammates. Also, his ability to navigate tight spaces, exploit gaps, and deliver the final ball or penetrating passes makes him an effective playmaker. Additionally, he is highly regarded for his dribbling skills, stamina, 
calm composure under pressure and ability to use either foot. Lionel Messi, Inter Miami. Lionel Messi has finally completed football after lifting the World Cup with Argentina in December. At 35, he could have been forgiven for being a passenger in his nation's success, but he was the driving force instead. He may not have the blistering pace or strength to hold off a salance, but his finishing, vision and control remain just as spellbinding as ever. He mooches now, strolling across the grass to find pockets of space and weaknesses in opposition defenses before exploding into gear whenever the ball comes his way. The GOAT has done it all, but he just keeps on racking up those numbers. Messi's ability to create chances is one of his greatest strengths. He has excellent vision and passing ability, and he is always looking to create scoring opportunities for his teammates. Jamal Musiala, FC Bayern Munich. We never really knew for sure whether Croydon bred Jamal Musiala would become a striker, a winger, on the left or right, an attacking midfielder, or whatever Thomas Muller is, but he's found a home in midfield for Bayern regardless. Only 20 Musiala has been outstanding again for Bayern this season and the German juggernauts answer to Dortmund midfielder Jude Bellingham. His mazy runs, physicality and awareness are all excellent and he's among the most creative and selfless players in the Bundesliga. Bernardo Silva, Manchester City. Bernardo Silva is a Portuguese professional footballer who plays as an attacking midfielder or winger for Premier League club Manchester City and the Portugal national team. He is known for his creativity, dribbling, stamina, versatility and work rate. Silva has been praised for his ability to create chances for his teammates as well as his ability to score goals himself. In 2017, Silva joined Manchester City from Monaco for a club record fee of £43 million. He has since won five Premier League titles, two Carabao Cups, an FA Cup, Community Shield and Champions League with the club. Silva has also been a key player for Portugal at international level. He helped Portugal win the UEFA Nations League in 2019, and he was named to the UEFA Team of the Year in the same year. Luka Modric, Real Madrid. Luka Modric is one of the top 10 best playmakers in the world in 2023. He is a central midfielder who plays for Real Madrid and the Croatia national team. Modric is known for his passing, vision, and dribbling skills. He is also a good tackler and has a strong work ethic. Modric has won numerous individual and team awards throughout his career. He won the Ballon d'Or in 2018. He has also won five Champions League titles, five FIFA Club World Cups, three La Liga titles, and two Copa del Rey titles. Modric is considered to be one of the greatest midfielders of all time. He is a creative player who can create chances for his teammates out of nothing. He is also a very intelligent player who reads the game well and is able to make quick decisions. Hakan Chalhanolu, Inter Milan. Hakan Chalhanolu has exceptional vision, technical skills, and ability to dictate the tempo of the game. He has become a crucial player for both his club and the national team. Hakan possesses a remarkable ability to pick out incisive passes thread the ball through tight spaces and create scoring opportunities for his teammates. One of Hakan's greatest strengths is his creativity on the field. He consistently demonstrates an impressive range of passing, combining precision and flair to unlock stubborn defenses. Bruno Gimaraes, Newcastle United. A different type of playmaker to many on this list, given how deep the Brazilian operates for Newcastle. He sits primarily in front of the back four, collecting passes and helping his team up the pitch by beating the press with his dribbling ability. But he's more than just a deep-lying midfielder. Once in behind the opposition, Bruno has the ability to find teammates in dangerous positions, as well as the desire to get into the box to finish chances. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, Please stay tuned.